Hello everyone, today we'll be going through Cambridge IGCSC Mathematics Paper 3 Core 0580-31 May-June 2021. Question number 1, A parts. Strawberries cost $4.20 per kg and cream costs 8.56 per liter. Venus buys 1.2 kg of uh, strawberries and 125 milliliter of cream work out total cost so according to the price uh, 1.2 kg 1.2 kg is strawberries and per kg price is 4.20 so we'll multiply by 4.20 and in this one we will add the price of 125 milliliter but the price is per liter so we'll change into liters divided by 1000 we'll change to liters and multiplied by the per liter price 8.56 and this will be equal to in brackets we can write 1.2 into 4.20 bracket close plus next will be 125 divided by 1000 and this will be multiplied by 8.56 and this will result to uh, 6.11 dollars 6.11 dollars so this will be our answer for part for marks 3 now uh, Ravi has $20, a pineapple costs $1.45, work out the largest number of pineapples Ravi can buy and the change he receives. So $20 can be divided by 1.45 and this will be equal to 20 divided by 1.45 is equal to 13.79 13.79 so rounded to 13 so 13 um, pineapple he can buy and the remaining amount will be what 13 apple will be costing how much if we calculate 1.45 1.45 multiplied by 13 will be equal to 18.85 18.85 dollars and 20 dollars so change will be how much change he will get will be 20 minus 18.85 and this will be equal to 20 minus answer will be equal to 1.15 dollars so 1.15 he will uh, get back as a return and this will be uh, this is three marks question now c part ibrahim uh, has a box of 72 biscuits he gives two by nine of the biscuits to grandmother so for grandmother grandmother we can calculate this will be two by nine of 72 and this will be equal to 9 8 is our 72 and this will be 16 so 16 biscuits will be given to the grandmother and he gives he then gives 3 by 7 of the biscuits that he left um, that are left to his cousin so remaining we can write here remaining remaining will be equal to 72 minus 16 and 72 minus 16 will be equal to 56 biscuits now uh, to cousin uh, we can write to grandmother and to cousin this will be 3 by 7 of 56 and this will be equal to uh, 3 over 7 of 56 and this is equal to 24. So 24 biscuits are handed over to the 
cousin. Work out how many biscuits Abraham has now. So remaining biscuits. So remaining after giving this one, this will be fifty six minus twenty four is equal to fifty six minus twenty four is equal to thirty two. So remaining biscuits are thirty two. This was three marks question. Now D part Flo makes eighty four cakes. Eighty four cakes. She sells thirty five of these cakes. Calculate the percentage of cakes that she sells, and that will be uh, sells thirty five out of total, which is eighty four. And for percentage, we'll be multiplying by hundred. And this will be simplified to 35 over 84, and this will be multiplied by 100, and this will be equal to 41.66. So 41.667. So we can write 41.7 percent. One more question: A bag contains 132 sweets. The sweets are shared um, between these two people in the ratio. And this is the ratio provided. Work out the number of sweets they each receive. So we can write sum of ratios, and sum of ratios will be what? Sum of ratios is equal to 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. And now we will be dividing this total number of sweets into 12 portions. So one portion will be 132 divided by divided by 12 is equal to 11. So 11 for one portion and this person will be receiving 5 portions. So 5 multiplied by 11 and this is equal to 55. And this person will be receiving 7 portions. So 7 multiplied by 11 will be equal to 77. So 55 and 77. This will be for our final answer for 2 marks. And F part says Jed sells uh, des desserts for $24 each. Each dessert costs. 12.802 make and work out his percentage profit. So to calculate the percentage profit, we will be checking for the profit, which is uh, cost price minus selling price. Uh, sorry, selling price minus uh, cost price. So it will be 24 minus 12.80. And this will be equal. This will be our profit. And will calculate profit this will be 24 minus 12.80 and this is equal to 11.11.2 now 11.2 dollars is the profit against the cost price which is 12.80 and for the percentage we will be multiplying by 100 and this will give us the percentage profit 11.2 divided by 12.80 and this will be multiplied by 100 and this will give us 87.5 percent 87.5 percent and this is too much answer second part the cost to make each dessert increases to 13.60 jet wants to make the same pro uh, percentage profit work out the new selling price so we will have to cost price is 13.60 and we have to increase this price by same percentage which is 87.5 percent so we will multiply by 187.5 directly we will calculate the uh, sale price with a profit of 87.5 percent and this will be 187.5 over 100 uh, over 100 and this will be multiplied by 13.60 and this will give us 
$25.5. So $25.5. $25.5. This will be answer for two marks. Now question number two. Question number two says Anika asks 15 friends how many marbles they have. The results are shown in this table. And number of uh, marbles, frequency, pie chart, sector, angle is required. Complete the table. So we have to fill this section, this column. And for this one, we will calculate. Um, basically, we will add up the frequencies. These frequencies, if we add, this will be 2 plus 8 will be 10. 10 plus 4 will be 14. Plus 1 will be 15. So this is adding up to 15 and now we will divide 360 pi. Pi chart is having circle angle which is 360. So this will be divided by 15 and 360 divided by 15 will give us 24. So each, each uh, number will be getting 24 angle. So 2 will be multiplied by 24. This will be multiplied by 24. So each one will be multiplied by 24 and we will get the sector angle. This is 1 multiplied by 24. So this will be 24. 2 multiplied by 24 will be 48. 8 multiplied by 24 will be equal to 192. And 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 24 is 96, which we can write here as 96. Now, um, what next? Complete the pie chart. Okay, so we have to complete this pie chart for the second. This part one was two mark question, which we completed the table. Now we have to draw the angle. For drawing angle, what we'll be doing first angle will be 48 degrees so we can add degree symbol over here so 48 degrees we will keep compass over uh, not compass the protector over here and i'll show you how to keep this one so our protector will be will be i'm fixing over here you can see this is the protector and angle we need is angle we need is 48 first angle is 48 so 48 will be over here and we can we can, zero zero line will be this one and we are measuring from this side and hopefully you are understanding i will draw the line and the line will be from here up to the circle and this will be line and angle is 48 this angle we can show as 48 degrees and i will remove the the other lines now next angle is what next angle is 192 for 192 i will keep my protector i will adjust and now zero line will be this will be zero line and i am fixing um, uh, my protector over here and we need angle of 196 up to 180 will be this one so what we can do we can draw the other angles and then remaining angle we can check for 92 other angles are what because this is more than 180 so i, I will draw first the other angles which is like uh, 96 and 24 so 24 angle we can adjust zero line on this side this will be our zero line and we can adjust our protector over here this one we have adjusted with this zero line and 24 will be 
24 will be this mark and if I draw 24 line this is 24 line hopefully you are getting this one is 24 degrees and I erase this one next is 96 so now our zero line will shift to this one and 90 for 96 we can fix our protector again at the center and our protector location will be in this one this is our protector location and we need 96 angle so 96 angle we can uh, we can take from here this will be 95 and 96 we can draw this one and we can if i draw the line accurately this will be 96 and i will erase the zero line indication and this protector indication and this angle will be uh, 96 degrees and further we require this one is remaining angle this remaining angle will be 192 192 so there were total of four angles which all we have drawn hopefully you understood this so now next next b part b, b part says bag a contains two black marbles bag a is this one and two black marbles three white marbles and b contains b bag contains five black and eight white marbles right on the probability that a marble picked at random from bag a is black so there are two blacks out of five so the probability will be two out of five so we can write two out of five this is one more question which we are done and next says toby um, says you are more likely to pick up black marble at random from bag b than from bag a because bag b has more black marbles um, is toby correct give a reason for your answer also so if we check how many marbles are black? Black marbles are 5 out of 5 plus 8, 13. So 5 by 13 will be the probability, and 5 by 13 uh, will be what? 5 over 13 will be decimal value will be 0 0.38, and 2 by 5 is what? 2 divided by 5 is equal to 0 0.4 and 2 by 5 is equal to 0 0.4 so this probability this is for a and this one is for bag b which is lesser than this so it means toby is wrong so we will say no with the reason that uh, bag b has um, uh, in ba for bag B, bag B uh, probability uh, probability for black is equal to zero point three eight, right? So which is less than less than bag zero point four. Uh, that is for basically for black for bag A. Now, uh, part three, Toby adds some marbles to bag B. The probability of picking a black marble at random from either bag is now the same. Work out the smallest number of black marbles and white marbles he adds to the to the bag B so bag a is having probability of 2 by 5 so we can write here for understanding bag a and bag b this is having 2 by 5 
and this one is uh, already having five black marbles so five out of uh, five out of 13 so we will add one black and one red uh, not red white so if we add sorry if we add one black and one white marble so number of black will be no six but total will be added to because we are adding add one black and one white so when we add one black and one white it means we are adding two but in black we are adding only one so it will be six out of 15 six out of 15 is same as two out of five which is uh, um, similar fractions equivalent fractions basically so two by five and six over 15 are equivalent fractions so probability will be same so we can write uh black will be what one black and one white will be added this will be two more question i have explained over here how we will be adding and equalizing the probability also now question number three question three says uh, the scale drawing shows the position of town r on the map the scale is one centimeter that represents five kilometers and this is position r and this is north and this is the scale the key they have provided scale one centimeter to five uh, kilometer a part town m is 36 kilometers from r on a bearing of 163 mark the position of m on the map so first of all we need to figure out 36 kilometers will be how much 36 divided by the scale which is five and this will be equal to 7.2 so we can write here we can write 36 divided by 5 will be equal to 7.2 this will be centimeters so we require 7.2 centimeters at a bearing of 163 so first of all we will check for the bearing and again we will six we will fix our uh, zero line uh, and our protector will be fixed uh, over here i'm showing this is the protector location and we need 163 so 163 is this line and this one i have taken as zero this side so 163 if we draw 163 and this will be the line and we can remove this and zero line also will remove and now we require 7.2 centimeters and we can open compass and keep your compass over here and open compass 7.5 or you can draw with the scale and 7.2 so i'm taking 7.2 over here and make an arc with the help of compass and this will be your point and this point they are saying mark the point uh, mark the point to this position with m and this one you can write 7.2 centimeters and this angle you can show angle will be 163 as required this was uh, five uh, two mark question which we are done with and we have marked the position also now b part b part says the a railway track 36 kilometer long is to be built in a straight line from r to m the track costs 1070 dollars per meter to build work out the cost of the building the track so uh, we will multiply uh, 1070 this is per meter and 36 kilometers will be changed into 
meters and this will be the calculation which we'll be doing and we can multiply 36 with 1000 and then multiply by 1070 and this will be equal to 3852 3852 and how many zeros this will be four zeros so one two three four zeros and this will be the answer 3852 and one two three and four zeros this is two mark question which we are done second part 15 people can build 60 meters of track per day work out how many days it will take 45 people to build the whole track for this one we can understand this will be like person and meters and length in meters and days so we can write here uh, days or day and this will be 15 people 15 people 60 meters and in one day and for 45 people 45 people are changing to 45 and meters are changing to a uh, whole track is 36 kilometers so 36 kilometers we will multiply by 1000 so it will be 36000 and how many days it will take so for this we can multiply this with this and this with this or if i change color so we can multiply this with this and next we can multiply similarly this with this and multiply this with this this is a inverse proportion which we are keeping in mind and now x will be equal to what x will be x basically x multiply by 45 and multiply by 60 so 45 multiply by 60 multiply by x will be equal to 15 15 multiply by 36,000 and multiply by 1 and this is how we will write 15 and multiply by 36,000 and multiply by 1 so x will be equal to 15 into 36,000 and divided by 45 into 60 and this will be equal to uh, fraction 15 multiply by 36,000 and divided by 45 into 60 will be equal to 200 so it will require 200 days this was three mark question which we are done now C part trains will travel the 36 km at an average speed of 50, 75 km per hour work out the journey time give your answer in minutes so speed we know speed is equal to speed is equal to distance over time distance over time so time will be equal to distance over speed and distance is 36 kilometers and time taken will be uh, sorry speed will be 75 so this will be equal to 36 divided by 75 will be equal to 0 0.48 0 0.48 and this 0 0.48 we need to provide answer in minutes so 0 0.48 will be hours so we'll multiply by 60 to get minutes so this will be multiplied by 60 and we'll get answer as 28.8 this will be 28.8 minutes and this is to mark question now they're saying town k is on a bearing of 312 from r work out the bearing of r from k now we can consider uh, town k is on a bearing of 312 from r so we can take r location like for example over here 
uh, we can consider our location and we can take north from here and this is north and this is our location so um, bearing of uh, okay so this is r and we need one uh, 312 so 312 means uh, this will be 360 minus 312 will be 360 minus 312 will be equal to 48 so we need to draw 48 angle from here and we will get total angle this side will be reflex angle will be 312 so 48 angle we will be drawing we will be fixing our protector like uh, this one i'll show you like for example i'm placing protector over here and this is our zero line and we need to count from this side we'll be counting 42 and 42 is roughly over here and now we can remove this one and we can draw uh, bearing and basically this line and this is the line drawn now they are saying uh, this is like the point this is the point r, uh, k so r is this one and k is this one now we have to uh, check the bearing of uh, bearing of k bearing of r from k so from k now we will draw north on k and this will be north now we can we require this angle we require this angle and this angle is equal to what we can do we can extend this line like this one when we extend this line this total angle is 312 this angle we have drawn is 312 degrees so out of 312 this much is straight line which is 180 so remaining angle will be remaining angle will be this much which is 312 degrees minus uh, 180 degree and this will be 312 minus 180 is equal to 312 and this will be equal to 132 so 132 degrees this much angle is 132 degrees it means this is also 132 because north both knots are parallel and this is straight line passing through par, uh, both knots so this 132 angle will be equal to this one and our answer will be 132 degrees and this was two more question which we have explained now question number four it says the diagram shows the line l and two points a and b on the grid right on the coordinates of a a is this point x value is minus 2 y value is 4 so our coordinates will be minus 2 and 4 this will be one more question find the gradient of l to find the gradient of l uh, line this one we can draw line like for example we need to find the triangle so we can consider this triangle and this triangle will be what this will be we can consider this triangle which is uh, rise will be on this side will be four so this side is four and this side will be up to six minus two to six so will be eight units so eight divided by four divided by eight so to find the gradient m will be equal to m will be equal to rise over run and this will be equal to 4 over 8 which is equal to 1 over 2 and right side is down so we'll be writing minus so it will be minus 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 this will be one more question which we are done
now uh, second part write down the equation of line l in form y is equal to mx plus c so okay so mx plus c we have to write so c we can figure out this is value of c which is 3 line is passing through 3 y intercept is 3 so c value is 3 and m value we just now calculated is equal to minus 1 by 2 so y is equal to mx so minus 1 by 2 x plus c which is 3 so minus 1 by 2 x plus 3 this will be the equation for two marks and then they are saying draw a line that is perpendicular to line l and passes through the point a so perpendicular line we have to draw so perpendicular line will be having gradient of what gradient of perpendicular will be gradient gradient of perpendicular will be equal to reciprocal and change sign of this gradient so it will be 2 and we can draw that line like for example we can draw from here so we can draw this line this will be the perpendicular line and this is having this side as 2 we can check from here this side is 2 and the rise portion this portion is 4 so it will be having gradient positive gradient 2 hopefully you understood this so we have drawn that perpendicular which was required and this line crosses the x-axis at point C. Uh, mark point C on the grid and write on the coordinates. Coordinates of C also we have to provide. So C point is this one and we can write C and coordinates of C will be minus 4 and 0. So we can write minus 4 and 0. Um, find by measuring the perimeter of the triangle ABC, so perimeter we have to measure for that one AB. We can measure this AB will be. We can take it as eight point eight. So our AB will be equal to roughly eight point eight, and BC will be what B c is uh, taken as 10 so b c we can take as 10.0 or 10 and a c will be equal to a c will be equal to 4.5 so a little variation can be in your drawing so it will be if we add, we will be adding to 23.3. So 23.3 will be our answer. Now question number 5. Question 5 says, the diagram shows the graph of this one, y is equal to kx. kx vary from 1 to 8. Use the graph to find the value of x when y is equal to 4. So y is equal to plus 4 will be this point and x value will be 2 so we can write the coordinates of this point as 2 and 4 so our x value will be 2 over here hopefully you understood this now show that k is equal to 8 so now we we can uh, replace x and y value which is 2 and 4 so y value is 4 and this is equal to k over 2 and this implies k is equal to 4 into 2 which is equal to 8 so it's done for one mark calculate the value of uh, y when x is equal to 250 so k value this 8 value we will be using and we will be writing the equation y is equal to 8 over x and this implies y is equal to 8 over 250 so 8 over 250 is so much 8 over 250 will be equal to 0 0.032 so 
zero point zero three two will be our final answer for one mark question. Complete this table. Complete this table of values for y is equal to eight over x. So y is equal to eight over x. If we replace x by minus eight, we will get minus one. And y, if we replace x by minus four, so we'll get minus uh, two. Similarly, replace x by minus two, we'll get minus four. And by minus one, if we replace x by minus one, we'll get minus eight. So this will be table of values. This is two marks for completion of table of values. Next, on the grid, draw the graph of y is equal to 8 over x from minus 8 to minus 1. So, the, these table of values we have to sketch on the table and uh, on the grid. So, minus 8 and minus 1, minus 8 and minus 1 will be this point. And then minus 4 and minus 2, minus 4, minus 2 is this mark. And my, minus 2 and minus 4 is this one. And next comes minus 1 and minus 8, minus 1 and minus 8 is this mark. Now we can draw the graph and smoother graph. We will be trying to draw like this one. And this will be, this will be, we will redraw this portion. So it will be like this. So roughly it's almost smooth. And then they are saying write down, uh, write down the equation of uh, each line of symmetry of the graph. So line of symmetry can be, there can be two lines of symmetry. And one line of symmetry will be will be this one. This will be one line of symmetry, which is uh, uh, y is equal to minus x. And there will be another line of symmetry, which we can draw on this side. And this equation will be y is equal to x. So these will be two lines of symmetry for this uh, one and we can write answer y is equal to x and y is equal to minus x this will be two markers now question number six question six is transformation the diagram shows three triangles a b c on a one centimeter scale grid so a part describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle a on to b a on to B. So to draw A on to B, what we will be doing, we will be extending, we will be joining these vertices. This one we can draw, and similarly, we can join these two vertices of the triangle. And if we join this one, this will be joining over here. And if we redraw this side, it will be over here. Uh, X accurately drawn this one. Why my screen is a little slippery, so that's why. So this is done. Now this is the uh, and we can see A is being enlarged to get B. So center of enlargement will be what minus 4 and 5 so minus 4 and minus 5 basically and then we can check for the uh, this one uh, uh, what do you call uh, this uh, scale this uh, scale factor so this is one unit whereas this is four units so one is switching to four units so it means scale factor is four so we can uh, write transformation that is enlargement enlargement uh, by scale factor 4 and center of enlargement is minus 4 and minus 5 this is done now second part triangle a on to c a on to C. 
so if we check a and c this will be we can check from any of the vertices um, but i am checking for this one like uh, from here if we draw a thicker line like this one for your explanation and we can join vertex this one also we can join like this so you can see this is a 90 degree this one is 90 degree and it is rotating clockwise so 90 degree clockwise and uh, this will be rotation and center of rotation is zero zero so we can write this is rotation we can check from other vertices also it will be same 90 degree so rotation and center center will be zero zero which is origin and 90 degree clockwise these all things we'll have to mention to get three marks so on the grid draw the image of uh, triangle a after translation and vector is provided minus five and four so a we have to translate minus five and four so minus five if we move this vertex minus five mean this side so one two three four and minus five we will reach over here so minus five minus five and four so for four we have to move up so one two three and four so we'll reach this one so this working i'm raising so this point is shifting to is transforming to this new location and the other two points this one we can trace two units down and this point we can trace over here and this is also done and now we can join and to get the triangle and this will be the tri and translated triangle which we have done and trans uh, triangle a after translation by vector this one which is done triangle a after reflection in the line x is equal to minus 4.5 so minus 4.5 so we will be checking for the line uh, minus 4.5 and then we'll have to reflect the triangle a so 4.5 line will be this one x is equal to minus 4.5 so this line we can write x is equal to minus 4.5 and now we have to reflect this triangle a so we can check for uh, if i erase this portion and we can check this distance from this vertex so it is two and a half so two and a half we will reach over here and then we can check for this one and this one and we can draw Versus hopefully you are understanding it's easy state for just you will have to reflect and reflection is also known as mirror transformation so this is what we have uh, reflected basically i wanted to erase this uh, extra yes done so this is basically the reflected triangle and this one is a translated triangle which we have translated by vector and vector is what vector is minus five and four so minus five and four this is the translation vector and a is translated to uh, that new location hopefully you understood each and everything now uh, c part c part says the diagram also shows angle b in triangle b 
use trigonometry to show that the angle B is 63.4. Where is that B? This is angle B basically. And we can check the sides and this side. This side is how many units? This side is uh, basically this side is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. So we can write this side is eight units and this side is four units. So this will be opposite. This one is opposite. So we can write opposite over adjacent, which is, will be equal to eight by four. So we can write opposite over adjacent, which is equal to eight by four and this will be equal to tan of theta. So theta will be equal to tan inverse 8 by 4, which we can write as 2. So it will be 2. And we can find this shift tan of 2. And this will give us 63.43. 63.43 degrees. And this is a 2 marks question, which we are uh, done with. Now, uh, this D part, D part says uh, two new triangles D and E are made from the triangle B as shown in the diagram or all three triangles similar. Give a reason for your answer. Uh, if we see this angle is 63.4 in uh, these two and this angle, this one is same as this angle. And this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree. So, uh, this angles are same in all three triangles. Just it is switching. This angle is switching like 90 angle and this angle is switching. So, these three are triangles are same. So, we will say yes. Our answer will be yes. And we have, uh, they have same three angles three angles so same three angles hence these triangles will be same question number seven question seven says martin suki and pyri makes clocks in one week martin makes x suki makes three fewer and this one is twice than this so we can write on the relation like for example this is x they have provided this is three fewer than martin so we can write x minus three for this one and for this one twice as many as suki so uh, so it will be two into x minus three and expression we have to write on the expression for the total and that will be what that will be x plus x minus three plus two into x minus three and this will be equal to 2x minus 3 plus if we open this bracket we will get 2x minus 6 and this will be equal to 4x minus 9 and expression will be 4x minus 9 hopefully you understood this then second part the total number of clocks they make in one week is 35 work out the value of x so no same expression 4x minus 9 we can equalize to 35 so 4x is equal to 35 plus 9 which is equal to 44 so x will be equal to 11 x value will be 11. now b part work out how many more clocks pyri makes than martin and for that one we will calculate 2x minus 3 this will be uh, 2 into value of x is 11 minus 3 so this will be equal to um, 8 9 10 11 so 8 2 are 16 so 16 minus 11 will be equal to 5 so 5 will be answer for this two mark question now in this one b part they are saying complete the clock diagram to show the time 2:30 so 230 we can show a small hand our hand will be a little in the middle of 
2 and 3 and minute hand will be at 30 so they are saying calculate calculate the obtuse angle between the hands of the clock at 2 uh, 2:30 pm now if we check this complete one will be complete one if we check this half of the clock will be representing 6 hours and out of 6 hours this portion is representing 2.5 uh, and this portion is representing 3.5 and half of the clock is total is basically uh, we can say this 3 by 5 3 by 5 is 3.5 is 3.5 of 12 so total angle total hours is 12 12 hours so we can write 3.5 over 12 and this will be multiplied with the complete angle of the circle which is 360 and this will give us the circle 3.5 and divided by 112 so this will be multiplied by 360 this will be angle 105 will be the angle which we were supposed to calculate this is two mark question which we are done now c part work out the number of seconds in 10 days so give your answer in standard form so 10 days will be first converted into hours then converted into minutes and then converted into seconds and this will be multiplication 10 multiplied by 24 Multiply by 60, multiply by again 60, and this will be equal to 86430. 864 and 3 zeros. And in scientific uh, standard form, we have to show and decimal will be putting uh, we, we in between first uh, and second non zero number. So, first non zero number basically after first non zero number. And we'll be taking one, two, three, four, five jumps to the right. So we can write 8.64 into 10 raised to the power 5. This one into okay. So I will erase the extra working which we have done over here. And now we can move to part D. Part D says a clock is uh, started at 1500 and the clock is uh, not working correctly and is slow. The clock loses 8 minutes every hour so after one hour the clock shows 15 52 what time will the clock um, shows three and a half hours after it is uh, started so how much will be the delay 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 for uh, 3.5 multiply by 8 minutes so this will be 3.5 3.5 multiplied by 8 minutes will be 28 so 28 minutes will be delay and starting time is 1500 and in this one we will be adding we will be adding 330 minus uh, 330 minus 28 will be what three hours and two minutes so we will add three hours and two minutes so it will be 18 1802 so 1802 will be the time and this is two marks question then e part e part says the times on two clocks are checked regularly one clock is checked every six days and the other clock is checked every eight days both clocks are checked on 1st of jan 2021 find the number of days during 2021 when both clocks will be checked on the same day so the, there are 365 days in 2021 so this information is very important and this is four mark question and this is like a tricky situation so first 
फर्स्ट चेक इज ऑन फर्स्ट जनवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो फर्स्ट चेक इज ऑलरेडी मेड विच इज ऑन फर्स्ट जनवरी नाउ वी विल चेक फॉर नेक्स्ट थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज सो फॉर दैट वन वी विल बी चेकिंग फॉर दिस वन सिक्स एंड एट वेन हाउ मेनी टाइम्स इट विल बी कमिंग इक्वल लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी विल चेक फॉर द एल्सियम सो टू थ्री जार सिक्स एंड टू फोर जार एट एंड एल्सियम विल बी टू इंटू थ्री इंटू फोर विच विल बी इक्वल टू दिस इज एल सी एम एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल टू टू थ्री जार सिक्स सिक्स फोर जार ट्वेंटी फोर सो नाउ वी कैन डिवाइड थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी फोर सो हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वी विल बी गेटिंग द सेम Uh, so it will be three sixty five divided by twenty four will be equal to fifteen point two zero fifteen point two zero, which we can round to fifteen. Now fifteen are these, and as I told, one check is at the start, which is first Jan twenty twenty one. So we will write fifteen plus one, and this will be answer sixteen will be answer, and this is a four mark question. Hopefully you understood this. Now question number eight. They are saying uh, a part A B C lies on the circle on a circle center O. Diameter is A C. Complete this this statement. Angle A B C is ninety degree because this is angle A B C. This is ninety degree by the rule. And what is the rule that an angle in a semicircle? Angle in a semicircle, angle, or you can write triangle. So angle in a semicircle is ninety degree. So this is one mark part. Just statement we have to give. Work out the area of the triangle ABC. Now area of triangle ABC we can work out, and we are given with base and we are given with the height. and we know the formula is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into base into height this will be area of triangle and this will be equal to what 1 by 2 into 6 into 10 and 2 3 are 6 and this will be equal to 30 cm square i think so yeah everything is in cm so this will be 30 cm square two marks question then they are saying work out ac ac is hypotenuse and right angle triangle we will apply pythagoras theorem and this will be ac will be equal to square uh, root of other two terms square so 10 square plus 6 square and this will be equal to square root of 10 squared plus 6 squared is equal to this one and decimal value is 11.66 11.66 will be our final answer over here then uh, b part make r the subject of the formula so we have to shift pi so r square will be equal to a over pi and r will be equal to uh, under root we can write plus minus also so a over uh, pi so a over pi but uh, r value we can not have negative value but uh, okay so we we'll write over here this will be our answer then we can move to c part and c part says diagram is not to scale the diagram shows a circle inside a square the circle touches the four sides of the square the i the area of the square is 81 cm square so calculate the shaded area so it uh, this is uh, 81 means this will be this side will be 9 cm and this side will also be 9 cm so if this complete is 9 cm so radius we can draw up to this one will be what this will be 4.5 cm half of 9 now after finding this radius we can apply the formula shaded area will be what shaded area shaded area is Nine eighty-one, uh, which is square area minus uh, 
pi r squared pi r squared which is uh, area of the circle so we can write 81 minus pi and r is 4.5 squared and this will be equal to we can find 81 minus and this is pi and r squared mean 4.5 squared and this is equal to we missed multiplication sign okay so it will be 17.38 17.38 so it will be 17.338 and this will be centimeter square for mark question which we are done now question number nine Question number nine is Venn diagram question, and this is given a part. Uh, universal set is given from one to twelve. E is set of even numbers. M is set of multiple of three. So uh, complete the Venn diagram. This intersection portion will be what? The numbers which are uh, which are even and multiple of 3 so 3 is multiple of 3 but it's not even so 6 is multiple of 3 and even and 12 is also multiple of 3 and even 9 is multiple of 3 but it's not even so we'll take 6 and 12 and we'll represent in the intersection area which is so 6 and 12 is counted for both e and m and also for universal set so um, now m is containing what multiples of 3 so 3 is multiple of 3 so it will be in m and 9 is also multiple of 3 6 and 12 we have already taken now e set is uh, even so 6 and 12 we have taken so remaining will be 2 4 6 is taken, 8 and 10 we can write over here. Now, odd numbers we can represent like odd numbers will be 5, 1, 5, 7 and 11. We can write outside. So, everything is done. This is 2 marks part. Write down N of E union M. E union M is this whole area. E union M including E and M this is whole area which is union so we have to count the members of this shaded region how many members will be there in this shaded area this is what we want to check so one two three four five six seven eight eight members are there so we can write it as answer this is one more question then they are saying part three a number is chosen at random from the universal set so from everything whatever included here uh, those are uh, one to twelve all numbers write in the probability that the number is in the set a e intersection m and E intersection M is having only two numbers, 6 and 12. So it will be 2 out of 12, or we can simplify this as 1 and 6. So it will be 1 over 6 will be the probability. So 1 over 6 is our answer for 2 marks. Now, uh, B part, B part says, Meg says that an even number cannot be a prime number. Is she correct? Give a reason for your answer. So this is incorrect because we have a number uh, two two is even and prime. So this is uh, done. We are done with the paper. Hopefully you understood each and everything. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and press bell icon so that you will be getting notification for incoming videos. Also recommend this channel to your friends and classmates and introduce this channel to your respective teachers. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.